Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, the premier source for Second Amendment news. If you're into Second Amendment news and you want to stay in the loop of all of the bills that are being submitted or the lawsuits being fought, then hit that like button and subscribe down below. I'll keep you in the loop. My name is Jared. Welcome. And uh, I'm glad you're here. I've held off a couple days on making this video because I honestly thought we would have an injunction in the courts by now. But let me get you up to date. I'm talking about Washington's assault weapon ban that was signed into law by the governor on Tuesday. And immediately, two lawsuits were filed. Like, immediately, the first one was this lawsuit here, which was brought by uh, Lawrence Hartford, Douglas Mitchell, Brett Bass, Sporting Systems of Vancouver, Inc., the Second Amendment Foundation, and Firearms Policy Coalition. The second case brought was this one. It's Amanda Banta, Sharpshooting Indoor Range and Gun Shop, Inc., The Range, LLC, Aero Precision, LLC, and the NSSF, National Shooting Sports Foundation. Now, I've already covered Washington's assault weapon ban in a couple videos, and I'll link the one above that kind of tells you all of the firearms being banned that are banned now, because it, it took place immediately upon the governor's signature. It's unconstitutional, it's illegal, it bans commonly owned items, Sing, uh, single shot semi-automatic rifles, the most popular rifle in the country, and reports even prove that it's more popular than the Ford F-150. So, I, I honestly thought this was a, this would have been uh, an injunction quickly. We're only three days since the filing of the first lawsuit, and I'm thinking we might hear something today, which is why I wanted to put this video up. I get a lot of people saying, hey Jared, uh, what's going on in Washington? Well. There are two lawsuits looking for an injunction, and I can't see, even if Bruin didn't happen, uh, this ban violates Heller, uh, and uh, this, I, I believe, is going to get shot down. It's the most dangerous piece of gun legislation we've seen in decades. Not only does this ban things by title or na like a name, like AR-15, AK-47, AK-74, uh, Bushmasters, but it also bans that whole category. So if there's a bunch of different variants, but it's still one of these, banned. It also bans some shotguns and stuff like that. Uh, again, see that video I did above. It's a dangerous, dangerous bill, and the people in Washington are already suffering because of it. I have faith that we're going to get an injunction, uh, but I'm not betting my house on it. Uh, but I will let you know what happens. Like I said, two lawsuits are looking for relief. They are already being considered by a judge, and if we get something today, being Friday, sometimes that's when judges drop little bombs, then I will bring it to you. And I'm also bringing this video to you today because there are a couple of lawsuits that are being held back waiting for Judge Roger T. Benitez in California to drop his ruling in the Ninth Circuit on California's assault weapon ban. One of the states being held up for that is Hawaii. So, perfect world, what I think happens, is, what I would like to see happen, it'd be today before the end of the day, Judge Benitez drops his decision saying that the assault weapon ban is un unconstitutional, uh, and then all these dominoes start to fall. So that's what I'm waiting for. Uh, figured I'd put this out early this morning just in case people want to get back on track of what's going on. Let me know what you guys and gals think down below if you live in Washington. What have you been hearing uh, related to these two lawsuits? I'm also reaching out to the people who filed them throughout the day, so I'll have information for you. If you want more information, come back here, subscribe to the channel down below, like the video, share the video, turn that bell icon to all notifications because then YouTube is supposed to tell you when I put out new content. Uh, and I look forward to bringing you good news on this one, but uh, we'll, we'll see, I guess. Guys and gals, until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.